Right. And there, that gets back to what is democracy, actually. You know, if we're going to restore democracy, it's not necessarily going to be because the politicians finally let us have it again. <laughs> it might be a lot more like India or Ecuador, you know, yeah. where, where we take it into our own hands. I mean, that's democracy. Like we're so conditioned to appeal to authority to grant us privileges. I mean, that's what school is all about. Right. And, and maybe they'll let us have an election for homecoming queen. Or go you to know, the bathroom. Or, to, or go to the bathroom. Yeah, or to pick the school mascot. Like that's democracy, as we that's as democracy. we have been trained. You know, that's, that's true. Yeah, but but like that conditioning is pretty toxic, and we like democracy is to say no. This is our country. We are not merely suffered to exist here, and granted privileges by somebody whose country it actually is. This is our country. Like when I, I think that every time I see like Department of Transportation, like, you know, no trespassing signs along the highway, you know, they have, and I understand they don't want people like messing around with their, you know, roadside equipment and stuff, but no trespassing. Whose land is it? You know? <laughs> and, and even to take it further, like, like these vast land holdings in many countries by a very small minority of people are now more and more corporations like whose land is it by what authority are they the owners of that land it's legal authority it's it's which is very different from popular sovereignty and especially if you trace back the history of the ownership usually it's because somebody took it by force and appropriated it from the commons so I'm not saying that that you know the solution therefore is to arbitrarily c- confiscate all the land owned by rich people and corporations. But that would be um, nice. But but maybe but but really it's the principle of the land is only yours by the sufferance the permission of we the people. Mm-hmm. So what that might lead to is that, yeah, you can own the land, you can do certain things, but you can't put no trespassing signs up there. And some countries have this, actually. Like Sweden, every citizen has the right to walk on any piece of land. Whoa. And to even camp for a day or two, like with the exception, like you can't, you know, set up your tent within whatever 50 meters of a house or something like that. But but like the whole country is yours. Amazing. Yeah, and there's some other countries like that, too. I believe Ireland. Um, wow. Like you can walk across the countryside. So, so like what property is can embody democracy uh, in a way that isn't derived from the power of the people with guns with, in whom we invest authority. Right. So, yeah, I, if we're going to talk about political hope, this is like really understanding democracy, like really deconditioning ourselves from the habit of appealing to somebody to give us something that's already ours. Mm 